Alright guys, what's up? So, I'm just making this video to try to help out with the charity stuff for Ukraine. That Cypher on Minecraft, Music Man Joe, and Cataclysm215, as well as others have been doing. Um, with their charity streams and everything. As, as you all know, there's a war going on in Ukraine. And the people over there really don't need that. They don't deserve it. And they don't, also don't have, um, you know, adequate medical supplies, food, and water, and everything. So that's what the charity's for, just to help them get that stuff. So I don't have 50 subs, so I can't do a charity stream. So that's why I'm just doing this video, and I'm going to um, include the link to the charity in the description box below. And um, again, Cypher on Minecraft, Music Man Joe, and Cataclysm215 have all been doing charity streams to try to help out. So be sure to um, show some appreciation for them and head over to their channel some subs and subscribe if you haven't already. And also sub subscribe to mine just so that I can get to 50 subs and actually do a stream. So yeah, again, I'm going to have the link to the um, charity in the description. And I'll also have the link to their channels in the description too. And uh, for this one, I'm just going to be doing The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages just through level one it's my second favorite game of all time so yeah I used to play this game almost exclusively as a kid, back when I had my uh, trusty Game Boy Color. It was actually my favorite game back then, and it's, again, still my second favorite game. It's old, but uh, it's a masterpiece. The puzzles in it, the fights and everything, they're so well done. If anyone is like Zelda and hasn't played this, I really suggest it. Um, this Oracle of Ages and also Oracle of Seasons, fantastic games. I actually have this game memorized. Every single secret, tunnel, passageway, every little detail I have memorized. Also, um, just want to include this, Cypher on Minecraft is actually first and foremost a DJ. That's a, her actual career and stuff. And um, her Instagram is cypher.music. She posts a lot of cool stuff. Um, she's done a, um, a lot of really fun and energetic um, performances on there and stuff. And has a lot of fun posts. So um, be sure to head over to her Instagram at cypher.music and follow her. I'd really appreciate that.
normally I'd skip all the dialogue, but since it's a video, I'm just letting it play out. I always feel bad for this guy. Here he is on a date on a beach and she breaks up with him just because he's bald now. And rejected.
And I uh, might just um, double the speed for this. At least up until I get to the first level. Just because um, it takes hours to upload even just a 7 minute video. And this one will probably be closer to 30 minutes. So I'm just going to double the speed till I get to the first level. I always thought it was funny how, um, like funny in a bad way, how they made this dude wear a turban with a feather on top while doing the little Egyptian dance. I never noticed that as a kid, but it's pretty racist actually. I really hope they uh, remake this game for the Switch someday. It would be really awesome to see this with all the updated graphics and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is my second favorite video game, like of all time. And my favorite favorite video game is actually Twilight Princess. I'm not really a fan of having touchscreen controls just because it's kind of hard to use. But. Oh well. Normally I dig around this screen for some rubies, but I gotta hurry up and get um, past the first level so this video isn't too long. Oops. Oh yeah, forgot what I was doing for a second.
<clears throat> so I'm wondering what's um, everyone's favorite video game. Maybe if uh, anyone wants to, you can um, say your favorite game in the comments. I'd love to hear it. I also like how we're, I'm about to get a second heart container in this next room. It's a pretty generous game with heart containers. Something I like too is uh, with heart containers in Oracle of Ages, they don't actually bother to hide the heart containers. Instead, they leave them in plain sight, but they make it really hard to figure out just how to get to it. This entire game is one big puzzle. Even um, just getting across the landscape requires a lot of thinking and problem solving. I love it. I actually gotta go name this couple's kid real fast. When I name their kid, I always go with the same name. The perfect name. <laughs> I'm actually going to be playing through this game in its entirety and um, posting it on YouTube. So, um, for anyone who wants to watch that, And again, normally I'd be skipping past all the dialogue, because I know what all of it says. Um, but since it's a stream, I figure some people might want to be able to read it a bit. I would read it out loud, but I'm too lazy to. The boss of the first level in this game, he's actually possibly my favorite Zelda boss in any game, despite being incredibly easy. I mean, like, ridiculously easy. He's just so cool, though.
All right, I'll play it at regular speed now. Wanted to try to get to this as fast as possible. Save time and effort with uploading. I do like I can get this ring right off the bat. I'd open that chest too, but it's just the compass. It's pretty useless. Same thing with the map. But I'm going out of my way to get this ring just so I can have it. It's the power ring. It will increase the amount of damage I do. But it will also increase the amount of damage I take. The map is in that chest, but again, it's just a waste of time. The other room I was in, I don't really need to do anything much in there. All that's in there is just a chest with a seed in it. I'll just come back to that later. I hate playing with touch screens. Time for the mini boss. A really easy mini boss. But... I'm actually already almost done with this dungeon. Time to get the power bracelet. Yeah, my only complaint with this game is uh, the dancing section later on is a nightmare. And a lot of the items you get later on in the game, specifically for level 7 and level 8, are just kind of repeats of items that you already have which would be great if there was actually some use to them outside of the 
dungeon they're in. And I would get that chest too, but it's a useless ring. So there's no point to it. Alright, and time to fight the boss. Just need to evade the um, wall masters. Alright, so this is actually my favorite boss in all of Zelda. He's incredibly easy. But he's just so fun. And I love the design. For the most part, all he ever does is just uh, walk around aimlessly and dies fast. But I don't know, Pumpkinhead's always had an awesome design to him. And that is his name, Pumpkinhead. Alright, so that was the first dungeon. I will do the second sometime in the future. So, um, again, just, um, you know, the war in Ukraine, people, they do need our help. So, um, please, if you can just donate, um, even just a little bit helps. And again, I will have that link for the charity in the description box. I will also have the links for um, Cypher on Minecraft's channel, Music Man Joe's channel, and Cataclysm 215's channel. So be sure to head over to their channels because they have some great stuff. And they've been doing a lot of stuff with the charity to try to help out. So show them some love and, su and subscribe if you haven't already. And subscribe to my channel too. Just so I can do a charity stream. I'm only 30 subs away. So um, yeah. Until next time guys. Take care. And I'll see you soon.